Consent and Boundaries The Keys to Healthy Dating Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most important aspects of any dating or romantic relationship, consent and boundaries. Whether you're just starting to date or have been in a relationship for a while, understanding and respecting consent and boundaries is crucial for building a healthy, respectful dynamic with your partner. 1. What is consent? Consent is an enthusiastic, freely given agreement to engage in any sexual activity. It's not just about the absence of a no, it's an active, ongoing yes. Consent cannot be coerced or given under pressure, and it can be revoked at any time, for any reason. A few key things to remember about consent. Consent must be given consciously and voluntarily, without any manipulation or coercion. If someone is incapacitated due to alcohol, drugs, or other substances, they cannot give valid consent. Consent for one activity does not imply consent for other activities. Past consent in a relationship doesn't automatically mean consent for future encounters. Two, the importance of boundaries. Boundaries are the physical, emotional, and psychological limits we set for ourselves in relationships. They help us feel safe, respected, and in control of our personal space and comfort levels. Everyone's boundaries are different, and it's important to communicate openly and honestly about them with your partner. Some examples of boundaries could include physical boundaries, e.g not wanting certain types of touch or physical contact. Physical boundaries involve your personal space and what kinds of touch you're comfortable with. For example, you might not want to engage in certain sexual acts, or you might prefer to take things slowly in terms of physical intimacy. Respecting physical boundaries shows care for your partner's autonomy over their own body. B. Emotional boundaries, e.g not sharing certain personal information or experiences. Emotional boundaries relate to what you're willing to share about your thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Maybe you don't feel ready to open up about past traumas or insecurities, or perhaps you need more personal space at times to process your emotions. Honoring emotional boundaries creates a sense of safety and trust. See, Digital boundaries, e.g., expectations around texting, social media, or sharing explicit content. In today's world, digital boundaries are increasingly important. This could involve expectations around texting frequency, sharing explicit photos slash videos, or posting about your relationship on social media. Disregarding digital boundaries can feel like a breach of privacy. Respecting boundaries is a sign of respect and trust in a relationship. It's okay to renegotiate boundaries as the relationship progresses, but both parties should feel comfortable and never pressure. 3. Communicating consent and boundaries. Open, honest communication is key when it comes to establishing and maintaining consent and boundaries in a relationship. Before engaging in any sexual activity, have a clear, sober conversation about boundaries, limits, and what activities both partners feel comfortable with. Check in regularly throughout the encounter to ensure ongoing consent. 4. Nonverbal cues matter. While verbally expressing boundaries is ideal, it's also crucial to watch for nonverbal cues that could indicate discomfort, fear, or lack of consent. These include pushing you away, going rigid or tense, avoiding eye contact, looking distressed or upset. If you notice these signs, stop what you're doing and check in compassionately. Never try to power through or ignore them. Remember, consent and boundaries aren't just one-time conversations. They should be an ongoing dialogue throughout the relationship. As trust and intimacy grow, boundaries may shift, but it's important to keep checking in and respecting each other's comfort levels. 
If you ever feel uncomfortable or unsure, it's always okay to pause, slow down, or stop altogether. A caring partner will respect your boundaries without question or pressure. Conclusion, consent and boundaries are essential for building healthy, respectful romantic relationships. By prioritizing open communication, enthusiastic consent, and respecting each other's limits, you can create a foundation of trust, safety, and mutual understanding with your partner. Remember, consent and boundaries aren't just about avoiding legal issues or assault. They're about fostering an environment of care, respect, and empowerment for everyone involved. So keep these principles in mind as you navigate the dating world. Prioritize your comfort and well-being, and don't be afraid to advocate for your boundaries. A relationship built on mutual respect and consent is a relationship worth having. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.